Which information is not sufficient to prove that a parallelogram is a square? To answer this question, we have to understand what makes something a square. So a square is actually a parallelogram such that the diagonals are congruent and are perpendicular to one another. So a parallelogram has the diagonals already bisecting one another, but we only need to state that the diagonals are congruent and are perpendicular because it's already a parallelogram. Uh, another thing that makes a parallelogram a square is that all the adjacent sides, or at least one pair of adjacent sides, are congruent and that there is one 90 degree angle. Well, why only one pair of adjacent sides? Well, that's because in a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So if you have one pair of sides, um, adjacent sides are congruent, then all the sides are going to be congruent. So let's take a look at the descriptions here. So number one, the diagonals are both congruent and perpendicular. Well, that's the first description that I gave over here right? So this guy. So yes, that this would cause it to be a square, but here we're looking for something that's not. Okay. The diagonals are congruent and one pair of adjacent sides are congruent. The diagonals are congruent and one pair of adjacent sides are congruent. So if we have the diagonals are congruent and one pair of adjacent sides are congruent, that is like a combination of these two things. So, in other words, this is like a, um, it's like a, a parallelogram that is like a rectangle, but it's also like a square, right? So if the diagonals are congruent in a parallelogram, that could be a rectangle. And then if the adjacent sides are congruent, then that will make it a square. So it's like a combination of these two together. So yes, this would also work. Number three, the diagonals are perpendicular and one pair of adjacent sides are congruent. The diagonals are perpendicular, and one pair of adjacent sides are congruent. Well, you know, if that's the case, that is actually the description for a rhombus, where the diagonals are perpendicular to one another, and we have adjacent sides are congruent. So that does not work. So I have a feeling it's going to be number three. Number four, the diagonals are perpendicular and one pair of adjacent sides are perpendicular. So if the diagonals are perpendicular and you have one pair of uh, adjacent sides are also perpendicular, that would be, again, kind of like a combination of the two descriptions that I have over here, right? So again, if the diagonals are perpendicular, whoops, and you have one pair of adjacent sides are perpendicular. So yes, this would also be a square. So the only one that doesn't work is option three.